enjoying a day out and all for a good cause. That's the point of Deschutes Kirkfest. Joining us now to talk about the event is the executive director of Arch, Jeannie McCormick, and Morgan Dean, also working at Arch. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So tell us about this event. This is new. Yes, it is new. So Arch and um, Spot on Kirk, we are collaborating to make mm -hmm. this event happen in Kirk Avenue. Um, so it's going to be our first annual annual Deschutes Kirk Fest. We're looking really forward to it. We're going to have a lot of cool music acts, a lot of great food. Um, Lucky is partnering with us, so they're going to be making some signature cocktails that we'll be serving. And of course, some Deschutes uh, brews will be available as well. And all of the money that we raise that day will go towards our two nonprofits, Arch Roanoke and the Spot on Kirk. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So a wonderful event where you can have a great time and a wonderful cause. Now, this is happening on Sunday. Why on a Sunday in particular? Sunday fun day. There's not <laughs> yes! much happening yeah. in Roanoke on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the end of summer, so it's a time for everyone to kind of get out and enjoy the weather while they can before it starts to get chilly. Yeah. And I know you guys are from one of the nonprofits. Um, so tell us what you guys specifically do and how this money is really going to help you and your nonprofit. Yeah, absolutely. So Arch Roanoke, we provide safe, supportive recovery and support to the most vulnerable citizens in the Roanoke um, Valley. We have quite a few programs, but two of the ones that have the most deep roots in Roanoke and were started in 1970 were Trust House, which is a homeless shelter for veterans predominantly and also families and individuals. And then we also have Bethany Hall, which is a substance abuse treatment facility program for women. Um, it's one of three that provide a treatment to women who are pregnant and postpartum. So the ladies get to keep their infants once they're born in the program. Mm -hmm. That helps connect that bond and really push them towards recovery. Yeah. When it comes to the event, people who, not just wanting to attend, but perhaps who want to volunteer either at the event or with your organizations, what do they need to know? Definitely. So if you look at the spotonkirk.org, we have all the information about our event. Um, you can find information about how to buy tickets there. We have tickets as low as $10, and we're also selling some packages that you can get if you want to get food and beer included. Mm -hmm. And we um, also have information there about volunteering. So if you want to participate on Sunday, but you're a little worried about the price point, mm -hmm. go ahead and volunteer, and you'll still be able to attend on your opposite shift that you'll be volunteering on. All right. All right. Thank yeah. you, ladies. Spotonkirk.com.